You wanna learn about what to do when you lose your boobs after weight loss surgery? Stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to Bariatric Beauty and Finishing School. My name's Kelsey and I am a 10 year post-op of gastric bypass who has lost 256 pounds. I'm also a 17 year professional makeup artist. So join me today as we talk about some of the issues facing bariatric post-ops. First things first, how are you guys doing today? I'm doing excellent. I am here with my protein coffee, so excuse me if I take some drinks of that. My throat is a little bit dry. I've been filming some other cool stuff for you guys today, so I've been filming all morning, so I'm a little part. So I want to talk to you guys today about boobs. Um, in my Facebook groups for weight loss surgery post-ops, it has been a hot topic. I don't know if it's because it's spring, we're starting to see more more tops that show off your cleavage, more revealing clothing. You're getting ready for swimsuits, people are going on vacation. Whatever is in the air is in the air and everyone wants to talk about boobs and what to do. When I was um, almost 400 pounds, I had really big boobs. Most of us did if we were morbidly obese. And as I started to lose weight, the first place I lost weight was in my boobs. And that's also how I can tell if I am losing or gaining weight, as I don't weigh myself that often, is in my boobs. So it's one of those things, it's like always in your face, it's something you always notice, um, and it might make you feel a little bit insecure now. So I wanted to give you guys some suggestions or my tips and tricks on what to do if you feel like you've lost your boobs and what to do. So first things first, drink your water. Literally within arm's reach, I always have a bottle of water. Um, reason being is because not only does it help my diet, helps me stay on track, helps me stay hydrated, helps my body running at maximum capacity, but it also makes my skin look good and it helps my skin bounce back from weight loss. So my bypass was 10 years ago. I did have a significant regain five years ago when I had my son, seven years ago when I had my son. <laughs> um, and so in the meantime, I've been losing that regain and what's helping me and my skin to bounce back is water. So drink your water. Drink at least 65 ounces of water, if not more. I try to do at least 100 ounces a day. Um, that seems to be my sweet spot for how my body feels the best. So find your sweet spot. It cannot be less than 65 ounces, okay? And that includes, you know, crystal light, tea, coffee, your protein shake, 65 ounces of liquid, preferably water. So keep that in mind. Number two, moisturize. So I use a lot of moisturizers. My favorites are oils. I like dry oils. Victoria's Secret had this incredible, incredible body oil and for some reason they've discontinued it. So fingers crossed it's coming back in another package. Please Victoria's Secret if you are watching this, please bring back the oil. Anyway, um, lately I've been using another oil from Bath & Body Works. It's from their Coconut Shea line, or I think it might be just their Shea line, but it's the coconut one. And it's it's quite nice as well. I prefer a dry oil, so it penetrates really, really fast and you're not left with that like greasy, kind of sticky feeling and you can't wear clothes or touch anything. Um, the other one that I love is by NARS. <clears throat> I'm actually out of it right now, but it is a radiant body oil. They have it in a bronze version and a regular version. And the bronze version, if I could bath in that stuff every day, I'd be set. Plus the smell of it is incredible. It's like Tunisian vanilla and there's a bunch of other things in it. Just look it up. I'll link it down below so you can see. Number three, get a bra fitting. I'm gonna talk about the bra that I wear. I brought one to show you guys, but get a bra fitting by a professional. Personally, I love Victoria's Secret. I know, I know, everybody loves Victoria's Secret, right? But the reason I like their bra fittings is because they're pretty thorough and they go through a lot of options as far as like cup sizes versus band sizes versus like cuts of bras. I can't wear those really low cut demi bras because everything spills out the middle. Feels like like a slimy eel trying to like escape from its prison is what it feels like when I wear those, it sucks. So, and nobody likes looking down and seeing you have the, you know, your chest and then you have your additional bubble chest that's trying to escape. Not, not, not a good look. So I like Victoria's Secret. Another great place that I would recommend to everyone, including my mother if she asked, is Nordstrom. And the reason being is because I used to work at Nordstrom in the cosmetics department, but their, their lingerie department is fantastic. The amount of training these girls go through is 
crazy. And not only just by the store, but specific brands will come in and do specific trainings on their products, meaning what it can do for you, who it's targeted for, these kind of things. And these are good to know because there are so many options out there. You walk into that Nordstrom bra department and there are bras everywhere. And they're gonna know which ones are gonna fit your body type. I went up and said, hey guys, I had gastric bypass. I've had a baby. My boobs are like tube socks with boiled eggs in the bottom. What can I do? And they gave me really, really phenomenal advice. And so I do have a few of the bras from Nordstrom. I tend to go with Victoria's Secret because it's readily available everywhere. And if I'm in a pinch, I can order it online. I know the bra that I love and I know my size, so I can get it any color, any texture, whatever. And when it arrives, I know it's gonna fit. So that's important for me. Nordstrom is, is very similar. You can order online still, but depending on the brand that you choose, whether it's like Waycole or Wilhelmina or Spanx or all the other brands, it makes a difference on how the bra fits. So for me, I choose Victoria's Secret because it's easy and I'm lazy and I live in New York City and I don't have a car, so I know I can jump on the train and be at a Victoria's Secret in 10 minutes, so there's that. There are a lot of really great bra fitting places, so shop around. You don't have to go with one and stay with that for the rest of your life. For the last 20 years, I have worn Lane Bryant bras. They were my favorite, the Kessie. They were a full demi, so they had really, really good support, full cup coverage, but it gave your silhouette this really nice, seamless look, and that was sort of what I was trying to find in another brand, and I had the hardest time. The first time around that I tried Victoria's Secret, it just didn't work and I was so frustrated. I would end up wearing a bra with a really tight tank top or a tube top underneath, so it would smooth everything out and I would still get the support, and it just felt like such a waste of time. So I went back to Victoria's Secret and I was like, listen, this is what I want. I want coverage and support, but I want it to not allow my boobs to spill out, but give me this silhouette that I am used to. I'm used to a full, chest. I don't want something that's going to sort of minimize and scrunch everything down. I want it to look like womanly and, and full. And so it took me saying all those things for them to come up with the bra that they recommended that I now wear only. So shop around, try stuff on. You have to try it on. You can't just go in with your band size and your cup size and be like, oh yeah, this any bra will fit because they don't all fit the same. Same goes with like straps and stuff. Like if you're still fairly heavy chested, you need something that's a little bit of a thicker strap or maybe your rib cage is a little bit larger and you need an extender. You're never gonna know that unless you try it on. Try it on, please. Okay, my fourth tip, and this one is a little bit controversial, I'm sorry if this offends anyone. Take it as it is. I would recommend this to anyone who has had weight loss surgery. See a plastic surgeon. You don't have to have plastic surgery. I'm not telling you to have breast implants or a breast lift or a body lift or any of that stuff, but see what your options are. A lot of plastic surgeons can recommend, you know, treatments or different procedures that might work better for you. See a plastic surgeon that's A, certified, but B, does bariatric patients. Reason being is our skin texture and elasticity is much different than the regular run-of-the-mill woman who goes in for breast implants, right? So you wanna talk to someone about those specific issues and see what your options are. For me personally, I'm not having any skin removal. I do have significant loose skin. I do have an apron. I have all of that stuff, but the only thing that I am willing to have surgically altered at this point in my life is my boobs. And that's because I'm used to having really full round breasts and I miss them. So if I am going to take control of what I love about my body, that's one thing that I'm gonna look into. So that being said, I'm gonna wait till I have finished having children, which I don't know if I'm there yet, and then tackle that after that. So those are some options. But yeah, if you do see a weight loss, or I'm sorry, if you do see a plastic surgeon, make sure they're board certified and they deal with bariatric patients. And then just see what your options are. You might want just a breast lift to get rid of the excess skin on the outsides of your boobs. You might want full implants. You might want silicone implants versus saline implants. You might want under the muscle versus over the muscle or anchor techniques, there's tons of different things. So just see a plastic surgeon. Generally, they are free consultations. They may try to pressure you into something, but you don't have to abide by that. You can do whatever feels good for you, but it's good to know what your options are. The next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about are moisturizers. So like I said, I 
just talk to you guys about moisturizers, but I forgot to talk about one important moisturizer. So if you've ever had a baby, you know that there are a ton of products out there for stretch marks. These also work for your boobs and they do now make these for boobs for women who are pregnant or planning to be pregnant. So check those out. They're really, really good products. I forget what the brand is. I think it's Cocoa Butter brand or something. It's something like that. But anyway, they have a great one that is for firming and lifting. It's not gonna give you a breast lift, okay? It's just, it's not gonna happen. But it is gonna help to the skin to tighten up a little bit. And I've noticed a difference using those when I did have my son versus now just using oil. So if it's something that's really, really near and dear to your heart, check that out. So on to the big reveal of what bra I use. So I wear the dun, 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 Bombshell Bra by Victoria's Secret. The reason I love the bombshell is because it is an underwire bra, so it does have wires on the bottom. It is fairly low cut in the inside, but you see how this cup is like a full cup? So it is gonna hold everything inside, but it's also gonna give you that boost and that push up. So if you're wearing like a V-neck shirt, you're gonna have a regular looking cleavage, even maybe a little enhanced, which is cool. The other cool thing about the bombshell bra is it is extremely padded. So it says that it gives you two cup sizes on top of what you already have. So I still have the flesh for like G or maybe H boobs, but I only have like the, the meat for a double D. So what I do is I buy the double D so everything fits in there perfectly. And then the extra skin sits right on the top. So it doesn't look that crazy when it's on me. It looks like everything is pulled together and I have really nice full breasts, which I like. The other good thing about this bra in particular is that it gives me a very nice silhouette. It looks um, very proportionate to my body. My boobs don't look massive or anything like that, but it definitely gives you like a nice chest um, and a nice like slope to it. The silhouette looks really good. It looks great under t-shirts, dresses, everything, work shirts. It comes in 10,000 colors. This is was the color of last season. It's like a, like a royal purple, I guess, or a burgundy. The one I have on right now is the satin version of this. I have it in black. The only thing I will say is I don't like the white one. I bought the white one. It just gets dirty really easily. I mean, I shower every day. I don't wear a self tanner in the winter, so I don't know what is making it so like dingy looking so quickly. I think it's every time I wash it, it's getting dingy, so I don't like the white one. But the nude ones are great. Um, there's ones with lace, without lace. There's ones that have a racer back, like a tee back, if you are gonna be wearing like halter tops or that kind of thing, so it's great. It also has in the back, it has two hooks and it has four sizes. So I wear a 34 double D is what fits me. So make sure you go with your band size and then you can go within an inch of difference with the bra. So when you go to Victoria's Secret, have them fit you for a couple of different ones. Like I can go down to a 32 if I want and wear it on the last thing, or I can go up to a 36 and wear it on the first thing. The 34 I wear right in the middle, which is really comfortable to me. And I find these bras last quite a while. The one I have on currently, um, I've had a little over a year and it's not showing any sign of wear or tear. The metal is not coming out on the inside, any of that stuff. So those are really, really great bras for me. As far as sports bras, I haven't really found one that I love. I have a couple from Fabletics that I do like and you know, like the most of the celebrities, which are pretty sure are endorsed to say this. I'm not. I do like the Calvin Klein sports bras. Um, I've been wearing them since high school. They just feel comfortable and normal to me. So that's always an option as well. All right, guys. So today we talked about bras and boobs. What do you want to talk about next? Let me know. Thanks for joining me today on Bariatric Beauty and Finishing School. I'll see you later.